So this is a video response to my video, the video that I showed you guys on how to deal with the ground problem with the inbox. A lot of you guys seem to have the same issue, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to make one more video about this, and after this, I won't speak about it again. But in this video, I found a solution. But before I show you what I did, I want to show you something. Over here we have the power cable that your computer uses or your powered monitors. And the first thing I want you to notice, over here you have your ground pin. I want to show you what some people are doing to solve this problem. And it works. They completely lift the ground pin. Now here's the thing. Removing the ground pin is definitely going to work. You're going to completely get rid of that noise. But it's dangerous. I read an article. Some musicians got killed for removing that pin. Basically playing their electric guitar, have multiple amps, and touch the microphone, got electrocuted, according to the article. Now trust me, I know the noise is annoying, but it's definitely not worth your life. The best thing is go buy a ground isolator, $30, $40, but it definitely gets uh, rid of the sound. Now let me show you what I did. I use a pair of uh, Yamaha powered uh, monitors. This is what I use to connect to the Mbox or to any other uh, interface that I use. Take the cable out and basically pin uh, one and three. Had a little wire connecting both pins. Basically a ground cable, cut the cable. Now listen, this is not the same as your uh, protective ground or your earth ground. This is not the same thing. It's completely safe, I did a lot of research on it. Actually, there are some cables that you buy that come without this uh, ground. But by removing this right here, completely got rid of the noise. Now if you don't wanna do any of this and you don't spend any money, the best thing to do is find out what's causing the issue. Now my system, here's how I have everything hooked up. I have the monitors, the Yamaha monitors, my display, tower, control surface, hooked up to one power strip. But that particular power strip is hooked up to an outlet on the wall that has multiple outs. And that's a typical thing in homes. Most of them have two, some of them have four. This particular one has two. So I got the power strip in one, and I have another power strip in the other one that's hooked up to another computer, another uh, pair of uh, monitors, some rocket monitors that I have. And that might be the problem. Reading online, that could cause an issue. I really haven't had the time to find out if the other system's causing the issue. And if it is, I have to figure out a way to put that particular system on another outlet. So I have to move everything around. I don't want to do that. So my solution definitely works. But anyway, guys, listen, check the description. There's going to be a lot of information about this, some safety information and some proper knowledge explaining the ground loop issue. So if you have any questions, post in the bottom. You see that subscribe button? Click that. Rate this video. Give me a thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out of here. Later, guys.